Pet World Insider, and Dogs Naturally Magazine bring you a fresh look at a natural lifestyle for your dog. Join DNM TV as we share heartfelt insights to help your dog thrive. This episode of DNM TV is sponsored by Natura Pets. Welcome to DNM TV. I'm Robert, and I'm joined by Dana and Rodney. Now, we all know that fish oils can be very helpful, but there are some concerns that we need to be aware of. There are. Um, I, I think what you need to do is just a little bit of a chemistry lesson for people. And I remember this, when I, I learned this in university. I thought it was so cool. There's things called double carbon bonds inside of fats. Uh, saturated fats, like animal fats, they don't have any double carbon bonds, right? Olive oil, it's got, it, it's, it's called a monounsaturated uh, fat. That means it's got one carbon bond. And fish oil, they're called PUFAs or polyunsaturated fatty acids. They have two or more carbon bonds. Here's a problem with those carbon double bonds is that that is what sets it up for oxidation and bad things happen when your fats get oxidated. And here lies one of the biggest problems for pet owners at home. Everybody wants to give their animal fish oils and omega-3 fatty acids, but nobody actually understands the problems with storage, how you're going to put this stuff away, and exactly what types of fish oils to purchase. I see people all the time opening up fish oils, leaving it out on the counter for a very long time. These things will go rancid and they will oxidize like Dana said and they will start to deplete the body of vitamin E. And speaking with an expert and scientist on omega-3 fatty acids, he was telling me that after it depletes the body of vitamin E, the dogs will actually start to get lame in the back legs and you'll see a lot of lameness. So what is the proper way to store it? Uh, ideally, the, here's the thing, it, it, the plastic, the oxidation can actually, the oxygen can get in the plastic. So buy a fish oil that comes in a glass container. If it's not in a glass container, take it out of the plastic bottle and pour it into the glass container when you get home. Yeah, and, and another thing are for kibble feeders out there that are feeding kibble, a lot of them seem to think, I don't need any omega-3 fatty acids, I've got it in my pet food, I'm totally covered that way. You know, that stuff is so sensitive every single time what people don't realize you're opening that bag and you're closing that bag of those plastic containers and we won't get into those. But every single time that's being blasted, it blasted by oxygen, you are actually depleting it and breaking it down where there's actually nothing left into it, right? And when it oxidizes, like we said, you're in big problems. So Dana, what do we do? Fortunately, there's vitamin E to the rescue, okay? So what you want to do is you want to find a fish oil that's got vitamin E in it. But not all vitamin E's are the same. Roll the bottle over and you want to look for something called DL-alpha tocopherol. You don't want that on your fish oil because that's a synthetic vitamin E. Doesn't work as well, doesn't last as well, and it actually builds up in the liver and kidneys like a drug will. You want to look for a naturally sourced vitamin E. So Rodney, what do we do if our fish oil doesn't have vitamin E? Yeah, Rob, why go with a synthetic version of vitamin E when you can go with a recommendation like all pro pet nutrition expert Steve Brown he suggested giving 15 almonds per every one teaspoon of fish oil you're going to do and I know that can be confusing so every three almonds per one gram of fish oil that you want to give your pet but you really got to make sure that it's ground up like you see it here if you're feeding it whole like this it won't digest properly so get it really ground up as you can see there's a lot to know about fish oils we're going to put more information and links in the description area thanks for joining us here on DNM TV Sometimes I touch my cup like this, and sometimes I don't. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> All right. Damn, that would have been awesome. Yeah, because I mean, purchase. Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy that I was finished talking, and he could finally talk to you. Think, I don't care what you think. Ask Rodney. You're going to ask yeah. Rodney. Anyway. Yeah. You're <laughs> Bad things happen when your fats get oxygen. <laughs> I just, I looked at you. <laughs>